This is round one of the elimination event and I lost the die roll. Now this is actually a reasonably dodgy hand. It's got lots of aggression which is why I'm keeping it. And if I recall right, this person is playing John Monsters. So young Pyromancer is going to be pretty weak here. There's a small chance that I have a, um, a free swing with Mudavolt, depending on what he plays next turn. If he does give me the opportunity to swing, I will take it. And now I have too many lands. Okay. I think I'll use this chance to cast Young Pyromancer. If he plays course the following turn, I can actually um, kill it with a lightning strike. Whoa, two lands in a row is not what I wanted to see. Dreadball. Really? I guess he wants to catch my mood about maybe. Don't exactly value my um token too much in this matchup. If I am right and he is playing John Walkers. So far, these three cards have been the only cards I had at the start of the game. To now. There's no way he's taking 6. 4 damage. He's going to have to use um, Gruel Charm here or... Um, wow! I don't understand. Sandra? That may be why he did that for. Yeah, that is the only reason why you, you did that for. Okay, I can ignore Sandra this game. Just go for the throat with another um beautiful. Do not have chain rocks in my hand, so um The white sauce means nothing to me. I drew my first spell this entire game, which is shock. It's not really a good spell though, but whatever. You do whatever you have to do to survive. There's a chance that I might get like a, a double move of swing next turn. That's huge. There's also a chance that he can kill two good events next turn. Course it will be um, pretty nasty. Alright. Does he have two of them or something? Oh yeah, that, that works. That works. I'll give him that. Lightning strike. So much land. Haha, <laughs> I feel the power of my singleton shock which I drew this entire game. Sure. Land is completely useless. If he uses Rackles Return right now, and he sees my triple land discard, I hope I'm quite funny actually. So do it. <laughs> 
I want you to. He will want double removals right now to kill both my Mutavolts. Okay, the matchup is John Monsters. Um, I believe Chain Rocks is useless. Young Pyramids, as you saw, gets outclassed by Sandra pretty badly. So, I just bring in more burn spells and just burn them out. Scout Crack Flames. A lot of people will argue that Sandra is actually good in this matchup. I'll tell you that's wrong because they run Dreadball and um, Hero's Downfall. And here we go. Wear and Tear is not bad in this matchup, but I just prefer the um, Mortals because they're more flexible. You can sweep, for example, the um, entire board of um, walls if it comes to it. Okay, this is a slightly more fret heavy hand. And he mulliganed down once. That's wonderful for me. Four cards, five cards. Wow, he's dead. Unless like, these are the best five cards in the world. <laughs> I'm not sure what he's gonna do about this. I will take this opportunity to attempt to get a free swing in with the Mutabot. Probably silly though. Oh yeah, there you go, I have it. There is no one CC black spell unless he must take free damage, which he won't. I believe I'll use the mountain. I have five lands, which is not bad. Based on my hand. It comes to Corsa. Yeah. With land on top. Do I kill Corsa? Or ignore Corsa and just play um Phoenix? I think I'll just ignore the Corsa to be honest. At least for now, anyway. I'll take him out next turn if it bothers me. He wrapped decay. Yeah, yeah, sure. Oh, that's interesting. I kind of want some move out now. Is that too greedy, though? I think it is. I'll get rid of his walker. His corsa, sorry. And I'll punch him with double uh, Mutavolt the following turn. Do 
Do I save my creature here? I say yes, I do. The creature's definitely worth more alive to me than it is dead. Second helix, okay, I can definitely use a helix on him the following turn. Well, on his walker, sorry. Corsa, sorry. He drew two cards with the Corsa. That kind of frustrates me. He's actually doing really well considering um the situation. I know my next card too. Should probably hit the walker. The course, sorry. No, oh, I should just walk it, shouldn't I? No, I don't want to give him any card advantage. Uh, God, difficult. Take out his course, sir. Just stop him from gaining too much card advantage. And take out his walker next turn. He has um He's running erupt decay in hand. <laughs> yeah. That's a pretty fairly difficult choice, I reckon. I know he has the um decay. Now what else does he have? Is the question. Kill it? I'll find out soon. Nothing keep older. Rackless return. Ah, don't care. That is correct play.
That's also the correct play. Let's see, does he have the removal for the uh, Muta Bolts? If he does not, he just dies here. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I don't have mana for that. How annoying. I only have enough mana for the Phoenix. Which will die. 100%. Gosh darn it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine damage. She can't finish me in one turn with Rakdos Return. He can annoy the heck out of me though. Wow, Garok Apex Predator. It's kinda useless. Yep. You want to gain some life? Nope. He does not. He just wants to die. I have no problems with hoping him die. Colorless. White. Colorless. Helix. No. And no. Get my card back. Then another Helix and it's over. White. Colorless. GG.